What's up everyone? Hey, we're over to deer lease today. Me, a Matt, and Alex. We're getting ready to uh, set up the BC-30, the shell cam from Bow Creek Outdoors. Uh, it's a new one we picked up when we were up at the show. We also got the, the new solar panel going to go out I uh, I pre-charged this solar panel just for the simple fact that I don't want to hang it on the tree and it's only half charged just plug it in at home charge it takes about a day a full day for this to charge I don't know look inside this kit this is what you get when you order this kit. This is not, this, no extras. This is what comes with the kit. You get the solar panel, you get the plug, strap, an arm for the tree, a ball head, gonna screw into the back of that, onto there. You get four, three different sets of cables three different type of cameras and you get a USB with a type I believe they're type C is what the new ones are and then there's this that in case you're putting it on plywood or using it for sale for surveillance and you could screw your tree mount right into that it'll spread it open so you don't come out so that's all included in this kit we didn't buy no extras, this all comes with the kit. So the people over there at Bow Creek thought of everything before you got this panel. And here we are, the panels just, you got all your different stuff on the bottom to turn it all on, all your different plugs. And then you just hit the button, and there you are. She's fully charged. It's ready to go up in the tree. So, and when it's not when it's not fully charged you'll see a green light underneath there that tells you it's charging so like i said this thing's been we got these back in january it's been sitting in my house i charge it the day we come home it's been sitting in my house in the box and you've just seen i turned it on and it only took a little bit to charge it up so that's what we're doing this afternoon. We're throwing out the BC-30s. We just put up two BC-32s. That's the wide angles. And we got some other ones already up. There's four or five other cell cams from Bow Creek out. And they've been out for a while. But somebody forgot camera cards, so chef alex had to run back to the truck to get him and he's on his way back now so give us a few minutes and we'll be back with you to finish setting these things up going on everyone alex ram come back with the card so now we're gonna put your card in the slot down below we run a 32 gigabyte card uh, you want it to be be a class one or a class 10 and you want whatever that crap means. I don't know what any of that crap means. But uh, 32 gig, I use these scan disc classics or whatever, extreme classic. Plug it in the bottom, on and off switch, flip it to the middle, it'll pop up the Bow Creek logo. And it'll tell you at the top, searching for network, please wait. Just hang out. It'll, it'll, it'll take a minute. Make sure your camera's activated before you uh, go and do that. We sat here for 10 minutes a little bit ago with the camera not activated. There you see, picked up AT&T. We got all five bars. Power level's good. Now I'm going to go through and I'm going to set the 
taking picture quality. Camera mode, photo, photo size. I want to change that. I run mine on the cell cams at eight. No bursts. Timestamp, you want that on Fahrenheit. You can change your video length if you set it on video. The IR flash I run on high. Hit menu again, that exits out of all that. Hit over one. Now you can go in and set your clock. It is 3, 17, 24, what, 12, 30, 12, 27, yeah, 12, 27 p.m. Hit OK. Time lapse off. PR sensitivity, normal. We're on a wide open gas line, so you really don't need that high. Go in and set your real time uploads. Upload delay. Operating hours. That's if you only want the camera to work at night, or you want the camera to work during the daytime set that time format this you can set in military time too I got it set at 12 hour time lap motion off hit menu again that escapes hit your right arrow it'll take you over to the actual setup of like your internet and all that you don't want to play with any of these it comes factory set do not touch any of it leave it alone Hit over one more time. You can go through, turn off the beep. I always, when I pull a card, I always go and format it. I want it formatted to this camera. So whether it's a brand new card that I just took out of a package and stuck in here, I always go in and format it. That way you don't have problems. You can go through cycle store, default save, register code you can set all that stuff up here this is for the new version of the software to hit menu again you're done setting up your camera and now it's ready to install on the tree so i will turn this off because i still got a bunch of stuff to hook up turn it off 12 batteries you can run it there's a diagram I'll show you guys. You can run all these cameras. You can run them on four batteries. You can run them on six batteries. You can run them on 12 batteries. You can run them on eight batteries. I put them all in there. I run cheap batteries. You're running as many cell cams as we are. I'm not going out buying door cell and everything else where you're paying a couple hundred dollars every six, seven months for, cam for batteries. That's why we run solar panels with these. Pretty simple. We'll hang the solar panel and we'll show you guys what's going All on right, there. Well, ready to finish hooking this thing up. Pick your outlet that you want. On the bottom of this camera, you got you got a nine volt, six volt, 12 volt out, and you got a six volt in. The six volt in is where you charge from. So make sure you don't hook that up and run it that way. Pick the right cord for your camera. If it's going to be the Bow Creek camera, it's going to have two yellow ends on it. It's going to be these ones. Plug it in to your selected one you want to use. I'm a stickler for my wires and straps being tied up. So close your camera after you turn it on. Little rubber grommet underneath here. I like to wrap this around here a couple times. Plug it up in there, make sure it's tight. That camera's ready to roll, it's charging. Move your strap out of the way. They tell you to hook them up so that they're facing south so that they catch the sun all day long. Me and Alex will tell you that it's probably the best way to do it. 
but sometimes you can't find those spots. I got one in the woods right now that is in the shade and it stays charged all the time until the raccoons unplug it. Coons and squirrels will climb on this, so if you see your batteries going dead, run out there, check it. They probably either pulled the cord out of the bottom of the solar panel or they pulled the cord out of here. I haven't had any chew on them yet. I won't say if they won't chew on them, they might. But, you know, that's basically it. You got your ball head here, you can adjust this. If there's not enough sunlight, you know, get to it, you can turn it left, right, up, down, whatever way you want. Screws right into the back. There's three spots back there you can put in. There's a strap holes for locks we're going to put locks on the camera and the solar panel you know we 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 always got a theory that the locks keep the honest thieves away you know somebody wants it they're going to get it you know but uh that's it man that's how you run these uh, bc30 cell cams you can run this solar panel with everything that bow creek makes all their cameras you know like i said you get a variety of cords in there to run any type of camera so don't be scared to look them up bow creek outdoors and their website is buckfuel www.buckfuel.com check out their stuff there and use our tke 20 that'll give you 20 percent off of cameras and i'm not sure about the solar panels but i would I'll talk to Matt and see if we're included on that. And I will get back to y'all and let you know. But remember, TKE20, and that'll get you 20% off of any camera. So, y'all have a good day. Shoot straight. Keep the dirty side down.